Hello everyone, welcome to this vlog. This is such a funny start right here. Um, this is actually what I do a lot of mornings though. This is one of my favorite parts of my day actually where it's like the post morning walk with Brody where I'm in my workout clothes but I'm like procrastinating working out and I'm sort of like getting work done on my computer like enjoying the morning sunlight and Brody just spends time with me he's all sleepy and he'll always lay right next to me or like under me so I thought this would be fun to start off the vlog here I feel like normally I will start off the vlog later like after my workout once I shower get ready have makeup on everything like that but I was just thinking about it a lot this morning and felt like I wanted to address Something small that happened, I mean, it's not like a big deal. I just don't want my intentions to ever be like a question, like a question mark in your head. I want you to know like where I'm coming from and what I'm sort of always going for. So something that happened the other day, I posted a vlog that it felt different from the beginning. It felt a little off when I was filming. I definitely was in just like a really weird mood i was like really down i felt like i was comparing myself a lot and was just stuck in my head and basically i was talking about like my biggest insecurities i mean i got a lot of positive comments but there were some comments that really really upset me and made me super emotional and just made me so sad because it was like the opposite of what i was going for so i took the video down and yeah, I just saw some comments on the video I posted after being like, what happened to a video that you posted before? Like, did you delete a video? Basically, when I was talking about some of my insecurities, I feel like I just got really specific and I was being like really negative towards myself, which I never like doing. And I, I was going to say, I can't believe I posted on the internet, but really what I was going for, my intention always, especially if I share anything like deep with you guys, like deeply personal, if I talk about grieving the loss of my dad or if I talk about any like body image struggles, stuff like that. I just try to be really real with you guys, but I never ever ever want to like rehash um, old struggles that you have been through or trigger you in any way. And so yeah, I just got a couple comments that were like, wow, when you were talking about body image that really triggered me, like I wish there was a trigger warning. I was just crying and I just took down the video right away because at the end of the day for me, what I want you guys to know, bottom line, is you mean the world to me and I make these videos for you. Wow, I could cry right now. Um, so I just always want you to like feel good and feel happy when you're watching my videos because that's how I feel when I watch you guys know I love Aspen and Parker or Arvin Olano. I probably watch their videos the most and I just feel so happy and I love it and I, when I watch their videos I'm not in a place of like comparison and they don't make me feel like less or not good enough or anything like that. <laughs> wow, this is getting deep. So I just wanted to say that because I just want you to know my true intentions always. I want to entertain you, I want to be your friend, I want to give you advice, I want to show you my new favorite lip gloss and I never want to make you feel bad in any way. I'll always try to like warn going forward like okay I'm warning you I'm going to talk about my dad and maybe if you just lost someone close to you in your life maybe you don't want to listen to this or maybe you do so that it can help you but if it's like too soon and you don't want to hear about it that kind of thing so I just thought I would address that because I just always want you to know where I'm coming from. But yeah, I just thought I would start this off saying that. But the rest of this vlog is going to be really fun, you guys. I have some exciting things I think I can share or at least mention a little bit. I just thought we would have this little chat to start off the vlog. And I will see you guys when I am all ready for the day. So I am all ready for the day. This is so funny that I'm sitting right here on the ground in my bedroom. I feel like I never film right here, but you guys are just on a ledge, so it makes it easy. But basically, this is the perfect moment to tell you guys. I've already been seeing so many questions about my new hoops right here and little coin necklace. Well, not even new at this point, like newer. I've had them for a couple weeks now, but basically they are the brand Adina's Jewels and they are from the website Vera Shop. So if you guys haven't heard about Vera Shop, I love them so much. They're such an amazing website because they have so many different categories. So they have like women's and men's fashion, they have home, they have beauty, they have wellness, they have electronics, kids, and more. And they always have 
free two-day shipping they have free returns and exchanges they do price matching basically their customer service is just amazing so i'm going to show you guys everything that i got from vera shop and you'll find a lot of global brands on vera shop that you typically will only find at like your favorite boutique so they are so awesome and the first thing well the first things i'll show you guys are these little hoops and this necklace that again i've been getting so many questions about they're literally so cute i love that they have adina's jewels on there i think i even snagged these during a sale which i'll tell you guys about the sale that is going on right now and just this little coin necklace like so dainty and beautiful and just like very my style and then this is these two things are from the brand wild house and I got this day planner you guys may recognize this I actually have showed this in a couple videos already I think because it literally has been my holy grail can you see yeah day planner I just love everything about it basically it's so neutral so my vibe so like calming makes me actually want to use it instead of being like I don't know bright pink or something I just really like it like you can see my I'm going for very like neutral zen puts me at ease and I've always wanted to have a planner and it's always been really like stressful for me because I feel like that's just not like who I am like innately I'm a very like spontaneous all over the place type of girl but that's why using a planner really benefits me and <laughs> it's been a struggle and at first i was like do i want a weekly one monthly daily and then i was like you know what no day is gonna be so good it's gonna help me really structure out my day so basically each page looks like this and it's been so helpful for structuring out my days and again i feel like deep down i'm very like fight the structure and the system i just want to like do whatever i want whenever i want but even if I don't stick to like I do 7 a.m. wake up, 8 a.m. walk Brody, 9 a.m. workout, like those are pretty much always like boom, boom, boom. But then after that, I can get kind of like, ooh, what if I want a snack right now? And to like answer these emails instead of film this video. Even if I, do you guys care about this? <laughs> even if I like have it all down in an order, sometimes I'll just switch up the order, but it's just really helpful to have it all down on paper. It's probably taken me 23 years to realize that like I really do benefit from a planner. So finally I have one that I love so much. I will have everything I'm telling you guys about linked down below. Don't skip out on this planner. If you are looking for a good day planner, I would really recommend because I've been loving it so much. And then since I couldn't decide if I wanted like the daily, the weekly, the monthly, I'm flipping this over to a blank one. I write like personal stuff on this, but this is basically like a monthly planner. It's called the monthly list. And it's just how I plan out my month. I sat down on November 1st, wrote everything down. And I love that it has intentions over here. It's like my favorite thing. And it has a section for self-care, career, social, love, spirit, nutrition, exercise, giving back. Little to-dos, like important to-dos I put down there. Note my mantra for the month. Like I am just so about this. I've been loving these. And they're just really aesthetic and beautiful and I don't know just make me happy make me feel a little more like stress-free put together routine yeah a little more organized so yeah that's the word organized so I've been loving those and then the last thing I'm realizing I don't even have to show you right now because it's all packed away in the kitchen but basically it's called the set and it's a cookware set from the brand Abio and it's the best thing ever because it's like the best quality cookware and I've done the bad <laughs> the bad quality sort of like just cheap cookware to get me by and it doesn't last and then all my stuff starts sticking to the pans and it's like flaking apart and people tell you that there's like terrible chemicals that are coming off onto your food just no so i needed a really good quality set of pots and pans are you coming to join us good morning did you just wake up my sleepy little puppy i can't believe he came and found me in here that was the cutest thing ever so yeah i'll just insert a clip right here so you guys can see but basically it oh i think brody's tail just hit my camera and it went flying okay i know i know you need love i'm right here but as i was saying i'll insert a clip right here basically it is like a little frying pan a bigger frying pan and then a big pot, a little pot, and then there's one that's kind of, I don't know what you call it, like a hybrid between a pot and a pan. I always do my stir fry in there. So that's the best. And yeah, again, that's why Vera Shop is just the best, you guys, because they have all the categories on there. And I got, 
a planner, a monthly planner, calendar, jewelry, and cookware. Like they literally have everything. Like I was saying, I didn't forget to tell you about the sale that's going on right now. It's going on through November 10th. And if you use the code FALLFAVES, F-A-L-L-F-A-V-E-S, you will get 10% off full priced items. I'll have more linked in the description down below about like each specific brand and those discounts. But yeah, I will link all the things I just mentioned down below. Thank you so much Bear Shop for working with me on this video because I just love your website and that you have so many categories, so many options for a shopaholic like me. <laughs> and thank you for joining us, special guest. Oh, you're looking We're going on a little lunch date. You already know. No music. Oh, yeah, I muted it. Oh, and God, you still it. tried to turn it down. It was already muted. Max says in his car, when I turn off the volume, I like aggressively like spin no, it all the way to zero. <laughs> anyway, guys, going on a lunch date, and I'll show you my outfit when I'm like standing up. So it's a late lunch. It's a late <laughs> lunch date, and I'm wearing shorts. It is 65 degrees out right now. It is literally so hot. So yeah, I'm literally so excited because this place we would go to all the time. Lighting is so freaky. We used to go all the time when I would visit, but I haven't been since I lived here. So I'm really excited. What is it called? Sitter, city Allentown, Market? Allentown, Downtown Market. Downtown, Downtown Market. Allentown Market. It has so many good places. So we're gonna go. Okay, you guys, we made it. <laughs> and that's our favorite place back there that I guess is closed. This place has good like sandwiches. Guess it's closed. This place always has good donuts. Guess that's closed. <laughs> it looks like there's like two places open down here. Are they open? Yeah. Oh, okay. I wonder why these ones aren't. Whatever, I could get a pizza. Sushi. Oh yeah, they have sushi, I could do that. Hmm. Here's a sushi place, everybody. You guys, I'm remembering, we got sushi once here before and Max and I sat over there. It was last year when I was visiting and I was sad and I think I was about to leave so I booked my flight for the next time to come visit him <laughs> while we were sitting here eating sushi. Do you guys dunk your sushi in the soy sauce or do you drizzle? Comment down below. <laughs> guys, go to that sushi place. I forgot how good it was. Yeah. It's called Shinsen. I might be pronouncing that wrong, but I looked at the, at the sign so I could tell you because it was so good if you live here or visit or whatever. I forgot like how fresh it tasted. Mm -hmm. um, when Max was here last year, he actually lived so close to here, so we were always like over here, but now it's like kind of far from where we live here. So I haven't been here yet and it was so fun. And the place that we were so excited to go to, like I showed you, was closed. So I wonder if they're just not open at all right now, Max. Yeah, I don't think so. It didn't look like it. But sushi was really good, worth it. We came for Brussels sprouts, and, and rice and chicken, left with sushi, but I'm not mad about it. I think I need a little Halloween candy dessert. They don't even know I had one for an appetizer on my way here, and now this can be dessert for our late lunch. Mmm! <laughs> peanut and peanut m ms you guys. Hit the rub. Who else is going to be eating Halloween candy for like Christmas because we literally got so much. <laughs> Hey you guys, we made sesame beef tacos. I think it's the first time we're having this one. Look at, they're pretty close to the picture I would say. I'm so excited, I'm so freaking hungry. Hi. You guys should know while we were cooking, we had a full sing-along to Taylor Swift. <laughs> Boys only want love if it's torture. Wait, what's the one that I'm really good at? Oh, love story. I know literally every single word. <laughs> Romeo, <laughs> Good night. I'll spare you guys, but I, I promise if you ever meet me in person, tell me to sing um, Love Story, the whole thing, all the way through, because I can. And yeah. Oh, I'm realizing also the last thing that you guys saw <laughs> was lunch, late lunch, but it's only like, oh my god, it's like four hours later now. It's literally eight o'clock. This is like late for us. I feel like since it's been getting dark early, we eat at like 5.45. We've turned like grandparents. We've been eating like literally at like six because it gets dark at five. So we're like, okay, hey, bedtime, but like it's not. It's really messing with us. Are you guys like so tired? Cause you just ate that taco in one bite. Was it good? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I'm excited. I gotta eat. I always do this. I sit down, then I go on my phone, then I vlog. My food just like sits. I can eat. But, oh yeah, last thing you saw was lunch and now it's dinner. But things have happened since. I changed. I'm in comfy sweats, Outer Banks. You know what's funny about Outer Banks, Max? Mm -hmm. Is that when we went, it was just like the Outer Banks. But then the show came out and I was like, oh my gosh, Outer Banks. We were like the originals. Cause it, we, we were the real John B. We were there before it was cool. Yeah, I'm actually John B. No, wait, you're John B and who am I? Sarah Cameron. I'm Sarah Cameron. Max is John B. And Sarah Cameron. Sarah Cameron. <laughs> now I hear Amazon. It. It Max says that I say my A's. Was I saying that in this vlog? Or were we just I talking? No, I don't think I vlogged about it. I think we were just talking about it. He said that I've developed an accent. Amazon. Annually. Annual annual annually. Sarah Cameron. Cameron. Cam Cameron. 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 I don't know, man. But oh yeah. Shout out Outer Bank. I miss travel and vacay in summer and warm. So <laughs> that's everything that this sweatshirt is. Oh, and I just got these little sweatpants shorts from Aritzia. Wearing those. Okay, now I'm eating dinner. I'll update you after how it was. There he is. <laughs> Round two, people. These are so good. We were just saying we like wouldn't. The TV is so loud right now. Hang on. We were saying that we would never think to put all of this together. It's like sesame oil, radishes. Max said that he's never had a radish. Like cabbage, cucumber, and like sriracha mayo. But it's so good. That's why I love HelloFresh. Look at there I am in the mirror. Not sponsored. Just love. <laughs> Max and I remember when we were like, okay, we should get it like three times a week. That would be ideal. <laughs> Do that again! Brody, Brody got so my scarf. <laughs> Who would approve of it? Oh. <laughs> Arvin. Guys, Max took my decorative beads and is making a scarf. And oh, Brody's really. I'm not. I'm <laughs> Brody's so excited. <laughs> the magic trick. It's like there's two rings and then they're together. Oh yeah. You know? and, then, and then, and then they pull them apart. <laughs> Wait, tell them what you call that. The pretzel. It's not a pretzel. It looks like a pretzel. Okay. You got Brody all excited. He wants the beaded scarf. Good morning, you guys. It's the next morning. Max, I'm realizing literally all we show in this vlog is food. <laughs> you may probably hear the bacon going on the stove. So good. We are literally making a feast right now for sort of no reason. But no, actually a big reason. I my stomach has been grumbling all morning. I don't know why. We just took Brody on a walk and I can hear my stomach like literally growling. So we're making scrambled eggs, we're making toast, we're making bacon, we're making hash browns. Yes, yeah, so we're kind of like going off. Also, I just got this set in the mail from Set Active. Bought it with my own money. They didn't send it to me or anything. And I just love it because I have a couple. Uh, the ones that are like really bright colors and I'm like how do I not have a black one like I love this material so much I forget what it's called but it's just the original one that they started with not like the new one um, and I just don't even have any other leggings I could like compare it to other than my other set active ones actually I have one pair of Fabletics leggings that feels like this they're like stretchy but really comfy and but like you can work out in them but still really comfy I just don't know how to describe them like I feel like there's nothing from Lulu that I really could like compare them to like there's no fabric like similar but yeah I really like this so do my little workout in it today we're gonna have a little feast and I still want to tell them my exciting news Max but I'm like nervous because I don't know if it's like too premature like way too ahead of time but I'm just really excited so I want to tell you guys I hate surprise I don't want to I don't want to just like spring it on them. Like I'd rather you just like be prepared and ready and excited. I feel like most of everyone can guess because I feel like I sort of mentioned it before, especially in my podcast. That's like the biggest hint ever. I told you guys <laughs> we're having a feast for literally no reason. Max, why did you make four hash browns? Two each. I need like one. Well, they look like the um. McDonald's ones, don't they? I like just realized. Yeah. These are the Trader Joe ones. You guys are so good. Hey. We made scrambled eggs, bacon, toast. This is actually body armor, which is funny. It kind of looks like OJ. Yeah. Okay, you guys, I want your opinions. All right. 
<laughs> I digress. Look who just jumped up right next to me in the little ball. Sometimes he looks so huge and sometimes he looks literally mini in this little ball. Like he <laughs> looks so tiny. Oh, I never want to get anything done because I just want to cuddle with him all day. Oh, speaking of cuddling, this morning Max and I, after our breakfast feast, we're like, let's just like chill for a second and hang out with Brody. And we actually started The Queen's Gambit. So many of you guys recommended that show to us. And my twin sister, I was on FaceTime with her yesterday, and she was actually watching it. And I'm like, wait, do I need to watch it? She's like, yes, it's literally so good. And so many of you recommended it. Was it my last vlog? Or the last vlog I posted, I was like, guys, what do we watch on Netflix? And literally everyone said that. Sorry, my eye itches. So we started it, and I was like, Max, there's no way we can watch the full episode. It's an hour long. Like, we got stuff to do today. And then we sat and watched the whole episode because it was so good. Like, it really, like, draws you in. And I feel like so much happens, but with, like, not that much talking. So you're just, like, really in it because you're, like, watching everything go down. I don't know. I, like, want to keep watching. Like, it was so good. But I need to, like, be an adult and get things done today. And then we'll watch it, like, at nighttime, like, normal people. And not just, like, lay on the couch and watch TV all day. But, yeah, that was so good. So thank you guys for recommending. And I would so recommend that. Well, I can say I so recommend that you watch. I guess I don't know where it goes, how it um ends up because we watched one episode but so far so good all right this is what i wanted your opinions on so maybe i should give you some background i think i don't think i talked about it in this vlog but maybe um i know i have in ones in the past long story short above our bed our bed frame our headboard that's what it's called our headboard on our bed frame is just like blank wall and i wanted stuff there like wall art like these guys kind of except i was like i really want personal photos i don't know if it's called like a gallery wall i don't know if i want one two three four one two three four like eight photos ten if we should do three big ones like i don't know the configuration yet so i need to like i keep saying this but i need to play around with like tape on the wall and like measure how it would look so i could like visualize it i could even just take some time and figure out how i want it because i don't want to do it how i don't want it you know what i mean like i feel like putting together pictures and frames is like not that it's permanent obviously you can switch it but i don't want to like waste my time like i want it to be in a way that i would like it so more projects to come but that's what i have been doing and want your guys opinions on oh also I guess we can just do it right here at the end. I'm just going to tell you guys. I have consulted no one on this. I don't know if I am allowed <laughs> to be saying this or if I'm like prematurely saying it. But I gave you literally the biggest hint earlier. Thing that has to do with my podcast and I've talked about it on my podcast. I have wanted to make Happy Hour Podcast merch for so long now, you guys. And honestly, it's something that I feel like I never really would have thought of. I That is just like the number one request I get from you guys. And obviously I just want to make you guys happy and um, provide what you want. So I just get like overwhelming requests. I swear every day I get a DM or a comment saying, I really could use like a big yellow hoodie that said like happy hour or something like that. And so it's always been in the back of my head like thinking about it and I've been working on it. So I guess that's my exciting announcement to come in the future. I don't know how soon because it's just like a whole process that I'm obviously very new to and learning about. Like you gotta get samples, you gotta figure it out. I don't know if it'll be like pre-order. I don't know if I'm like allowed to be talking about this. I mean, it's my stuff so like I sure I can but <laughs> yeah, I don't wanna like tell you guys this now and then it's like freaking next June. No, it won't be but you know what I mean? So yeah, and you know what that's reminding me? That's the exciting announcement but that's reminding me that literally yesterday I decided, I was just doing a lot of thinking about my podcast I think and thinking about happy hour podcast merch and everything like that. I posted yesterday on my happy hour podcast Instagram that I'm gonna start posting every other Friday. And I don't know if this is like forever kind of thing or just like through this holiday season. I just feel like I have so much work stuff going on with like Instagram and YouTube that obviously I'm just trying to like keep up with everything and like be a sane human being. And honestly, I think people don't realize how much podcasting, how much time it takes out of my week, just recording for maybe, especially if it's with a guest, like an hour or two, editing through all of it takes me like three, four hours maybe. It just depends. And yeah, everything like that just takes a lot of my time. And I've been thinking how life is very simple <laughs> for me right now. It hasn't, you know, I'm not traveling. It's not like changing much. There's not a lot going on. And so I don't want to be like 
forcing out an episode every Friday if I feel like it's not the best quality or the most valuable and I'd rather just have one like every other Friday that can have a lot of like experience and time and effort put into it and I also just think about like I always talk about what's going on and from week to week it's like not much changes but every two weeks I feel like I'll have more to speak on so yeah that's just kind of why I made that decision and I guess it's good to sort of address talk about on YouTube too so you guys just have a heads up and know where that's coming from and it made me really sad actually because I saw a lot of your comments and DMs being like I look so forward to every Friday morning like listening to happy hour but I guess you can just like re-listen to old ones or catch up on ones that you haven't heard in the meantime and it still is coming every other week so every other Friday morning there'll be an episode and yeah so that's my announcement and sort of update on the podcast everything like that and I guess I will just end off the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video i bet brody will be there too will you see him next time okay bye